everyone! Today we have a special video about one of the most interesting and puzzling topics at the same time – ANSI patterns in C++. If you want to make effective, reliable and well-structured C++ software, then you need to be aware of coding ANSI patterns. These are typical mistakes and ineffective approaches used in software development. In other words, they are rakes that developers have been stepping on for ages. So, if you know them, you may save yourself from the same fate. Don't forget to subscribe so as not to miss our new videos. And let's write clean code together. The const word just takes up space in code. If you don't want to change a variable, then just leave it like that. Really, don't want to change that? Don't change it. But the problem is, human factor is always around the corner. Const helps avoid errors related to an accidental change in the variable value. It's especially helpful when you work with large projects or in a big team where everyone can change the code. When we see const before the variable, we immediately know that the value won't change. Moreover, const increases readability and makes code more understandable for other developers. However, sometimes using const is just impractical. If we know that the variable value will change in the future, then there is no point in making it constant. In this case, use the variable without const. In short, using const is a good programming practice that makes code more readable and understandable. However, in some cases it may be impractical and may limit your opportunities. Terrible tip number two. Need to add a constant instance of the class everywhere? It's more convenient to declare it in the header file. According to the C++ standard, constants declared in any namespace have an internal binding. When you include such a file with the include statement, multiple object copies will be created. Depending on the standard used, there are two ways to avoid this behavior. Starting with C++17, you can declare the variable using the inline specifier. This feature is incredibly helpful when you write header-only libraries. Before C++17, you had to declare a variable with the extern specifier in the header file and put the definition in the compiled file. Here is the fixed version. The PVStudio Analyzer will warn you about the described error via the v1043 diagnostic rule. Variable tip number three. The shorter the variable name is, the better. Use one or two letters to name variables. This way you'll fit a more complex expression on one line on the screen. Yeah, you will write much shorter code, but it will be hard to read. The variable name is just a small detail, but the truth is it contributes a lot to code readability and clarity. Many beginner developers often make this mistake and try to shorten variable names in order to save some space when writing code. That's a big mistake. When you use short variable names, you lose code clarity and ease of its maintenance. Even experienced developers will have a hard time understanding the code where variables are named, for example, A, B, C, and so on. In commercial development, our main task is to create code that other developers, including us, can easily read and maintain. Code clarity and readability are key factors in software development. Long and meaningful variable names help us understand the code without any extra comments or explanations. Besides, with long names and code, we can avoid confusion and accidental mistakes such as assigning the wrong variable value. Try to strike a balance between keeping the variable name long enough to understand their purpose, but not too long to clutter the code. Choose names that will explain the essence of the variable, but will remain concise. If you are still not sure about the importance of long variable names, then look at the example. What does A mean here? Now, let's change the name. Much clearer. That's probably the number of students. Let's face it, it's easier to use variables with comprehensible names. Of course, sometimes using short variable names can be justified, for example, inside loops, to save some space. But in main code, please keep variable names comprehensible. The more we invest in code readability, the easier it will be to work with it in the long run. Let our variables be storytellers that will help other developers understand the code and enter the program. Thanks for watching this video. We hope the information about the C++ anti-patterns will help you become a more effective and experienced developer.